my caveat is that I'm not a scientist nor am, am I a medical doctor or any expert in what I'm about to talk about. However, um, during my college years I came across some information which um, I have not been able to recheck again but I think I can go with it. I could go to press with it. Individuals are claiming that if you cook these eggs well and you don't have them running and so forth, you stand a chance of avoiding the salmonella poisoning. Now, the word poisoning is something different. Um, a bacteria is an organism, and I don't see a bacteria going to poison you as such. Um, but what is the is the is the toxins that these um, organisms produce? It's the problem. So that if you have any food or anything that has been infected by bacteria and uh, they were able to do the thing and create that toxin even if you were to microwave it cook it well or whatever you do you may kill the organism but the toxin still remains and that is what hurts you those toxins could shut down your liver uh, give you other problems and end up killing you so I, I just throw this out here and I hope that some big scientists are going to come and, and prove this wrong but as I said it don't seem as if you kill the organism, you're safe. Uh, it's the toxins in the blood, except uh, there's some other mechanism to uh, neutralize that poison. It's going to get you. So what do you think? Um, it's something like if you get um, some uh, poison from uh, a diamondback or one of these rattlesnakes, and you were to cook it real good or put it in the microwave, it's going to kill you because it's the poison is what's killing it if the snake is not there or whatever produced the poison is not there but it's that which kills so I'm going to help with this let me hear what you think about it I might be wrong but I think these scientists are just joking